are joined by family therapist Karen Phillip and journalist Angela Moller. Good morning to you ladies. First up, this idea of the, that a corporate watchdog has come up there, they want children as young as five taught consumer and financial literacy to help them cope with modern problems like mobile phone debt. Yay? No? Oh no, not at that age. I mean, they're saying that they want um, an economics and business curriculum put into the school curriculum from year, basically kindergarten. Mm -hmm. I mean, as if teachers don't have enough to do anyway. And, and little kids don't have the concept to be able to understand all of that. They do learn about money. Obviously, they've got a gold coin. They know if they go to the shop, they can buy something. Yeah. With it. But do we really want to put the pressure of economics mm. onto them at that age? Well, really? you know what? My little girls are still at the stage where two 20 cent coins is better than one two dollar coin. Absolutely. So <laughs> I, I'm loving that lack of economic know how at the moment. But what, what, what do you think? Still with that. Yeah, look, I agree with Karen so much is that um, they're allowed to have a childhood, you know? That's, we take childhood away so quickly these days. That said, I don't think it's an issue for schools at the primary level. That should be a parental issue. Yes. So when you're in the supermarket, you're helping them decide, we get this honey because it's cheaper than that honey. You know, and I think kids need to know that. They need to know the value of things. They need to know they can't have everything. Secondary school, I think you do need to get pretty into it. Uh, a, we've got a big growing middle class. They've grown up with things and they need to manage money. They need to, our daughter has a mobile phone. She spent way too much on it the first month. And, you know, she's had to learn the consequences of that. But it, certainly at high school, yes, they had the capacity to understand yeah. that. But not on class one to four. They start start gently with the tooth fairy. We, you know, we all, we all learn get this their economics with the value of teeth. Yes. So <laughs> much our tooth fairy is always late. Three days late every single What's time. What's a tooth worth night? these days? Uh, I reckon uh, $2, but I've heard up to 20 What? Uh, yeah. I'm, no way. Seriously, no. yeah. Mm. Oh, I'd give it 20 for a whole set. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big kids out there with pliers. Next up, uh, what about this? There's an Instagram trend out there of taking after-sex selfies. That's a taking very intimate moments and making them very, very public. It, it just continues to grow, this lack of privacy in the modern world. Uh, should we just get used to it? Or is this wrong? Sad. Sad? Mm -hmm. I just find it sad. I mean, there's, there's something very, very intimate, very close mm. between a couple that share this. Um, look, if it's a diversion and you want to put it on, you know, put it up for your ex to show them that, hey, I'm at, back out there, go for it. But if it's <laughs> but if it's something that's that's a, a sensual thing between the two of you, yeah. then I don't understand why people what's missing in their relationship to so make them have the, to do that. Particularly when you're young, what feels good now <laughs> is going to seem very very different in, in and as little as six weeks' happy. time, and it's Absolutely. there forever. That's the problem. Yeah, and as you got older, those pictures aren't going to look as great, <laughs> are they? Look, I totally agree with what Karen's saying, and I'm not a prude. I love watching people kiss in, on public transport. There was an ad a few weeks ago that went viral, which was people that hadn't met each other kissing, and I must have watched that three times. I found that really beautiful. <sighs> I know, I do, I do love seeing affection and kissing, but if we take away that sacred tender moments that are uniquely yours yes then yes. what do we have but that's it i don't like potty selfies either so <laughs> I, know, I, know, I think i'd rather look at a, a set after sex selfie than all this potty selfie. I, I like watching people rub noses for some way for some reason really? i should have been born an eskimo <laughs> or a maori <laughs> oh maori yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe we like could start it? that what instead of about? kissing in public you rub noses with people you've never met i don't know it's called oh, a me. it's because my little girl does it too oh that's, so that's, that's sweet yeah yeah. Listen to us. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, clothes don't get more blokey than King G, right? Am I right? Well, the tradies workwear brand has turned metrosexual thanks to a new range of compression tights for construction workers. What I noticed about this photo is two buffy looking blokes in their tradies singlets, but no tats. That was refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> but have a look at this. What, what do you think? If this is the tradie of the future. Well, they're like skins and... and Athletes have been wearing them for forever, mm. and I think it's about time. And I do believe that the tradies, so-called tradies, are changing. They are, they're, they're younger, they're fitter, they're more active, they're more athletic, they're strong. I think gone are the days. But where they're they more were... covered up. That's the point. <laughs> yeah, is this an outrage? Yeah, but you can see the muscle outline. Right. Look, tradies are the new bloke. I reckon they're getting yes, it everything sure. right. They get up early. They finish early, they go for a surf, they manage money really well, they have great communication and interface with their customers, they have that beautiful balance of talking to people and the time on their own. And they can do things. They can, can do I things. I can see they go around the place a lot. <laughs> <laughs> my, my mate Shane, who lives in Bondi, he is exactly like this. So he wears the kind of um, 
Compression gear? Compression gear, yeah. drinks green smoothies, does yoga, wears sun cream. He is the new trade. It would never be said the sexist, ever. No. <laughs> you, you know what? After years and years and years of fantasising about it, you know what I did? What? You bought that? Fantasising I, about what? I, had to, yeah. I, I actually had to build something out of marine ply the other day. I built a boat car. Right? Wow. Yeah. I was helped greatly by a guy who is a trader <laughs> and, um, and I felt so good with myself I went to a hardware store and bought a tool belt <gasps> and when I when I wore it home with a can of WD-40 <laughs> on, on either pocket it was a revelation oh, oh, you so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, for both of us oh. yeah. well, you need a hammer on the other side though yeah well you know can we some things sticks? you have to bring small yourself sticks. can we have the after sex after that <laughs> Yeah, no, that's just too too much for me. <laughs> Don't like the after sex selfie, but my advice is yeah. get yourself a tool, a tool belt. belt. Compression yeah. garments. Oh, no. <laughs> well, ladies, I think that was uh, very educational for everybody. <laughs> yeah. well, I think everyone's now going to be checking out the tradies and just having a look uh, to see if they are wearing the... Uh, yeah. They're pretty anatomically correct, those compression garments. They're great. They're tights, aren't they, Layla? They're just tights. <laughs> yeah, they're tights, Cam, and I love the fact that you always leave it up to the floor.